Your boy, Martin Paul, is back in his hometown where he grew up. And I thought I'd show you guys a few things that I got. <laughs> these are a few of my favorite pieces uh, that I made. I handmade these. These are dance fans. And these are eagles because me and my family, and I know that the native culture just in general has like a really big connection with eagles. To demonstrate how I'd use them, I'd hold them like this on both hands and just you rock like do 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 and it's just ah, I love this so much. But they are old, they are aging, but these are swan feathers. Next up you got my drum, which is what I made in my freshman year of high school. You can see how old and used it is and how the colors are just like all over the place because um of how used it is and it actually has a like a crack going on here which is making me pretty sad but honestly even though it's all used and stuff and like it looks old i honestly think it just uses like it makes it more like characteristic you know it has character basically and my drumstick that i use is a willow that i took the skin off of out from outside and first we drum like this and we just sing the song and like start it off by like going like Jao yo gla kung runang a yang ai And then like after all that, after we sing the whole song like that, we move to the drum part and go Jao yo gla kung runang a yang ai Ooh, that sounds so cool. Oh, and the wording that I put on it is called Nashluya Rucha Kunaku, which means don't forget it. And the whole thing with this is that, like, I decided to put Nashluya Rucha Kunaku, basically just don't forget your culture because, you know, it's important. But, like, I drew, like, a stream and, like, mountains and, like, a sun in the background. And, um, yeah, that was all my freshman year. Hope you like that vid. Um,. Stay indigenous. <laughs>